Well, good morning and uh, happy Sunday. Uh, first of all, to my own wife, happy Mother's Day, baby. Um, to my own mother, mommy, love you. Um, you have certainly done incredible um, over the years of uh, especially all the turbulent times um, when I was a kid and uh, raising three children uh, with dad um, was certainly a handful. I want to say thank you to my mom um, for loving me, for being patient with me, for putting up with my stubbornness sometimes. Um, and I want to do that. Um, the reason why, I, so I want to say thank you to, to mom. Love you, mom. Um, to my mother-in-law, uh, you're amazing. Um, you um, daily, multiple times pray for me. Um, you're always there for us and our family and uh, help us tremendously. Um, we, we love you, mummy. Um, so I wanted to um, title this as Happy Mother's Day 360. And I don't know how long this is going to go for, but I think it's pretty important um, to just understand uh, just how important it is that especially in, in churches all across America, to not forget, um, not just those who cannot conceive or are praying to conceive, to be a mother um, and praying for the mothers <laughs> um, who um, have a child or had a child, um, but also foster mums, um, adopting mums, um, women who are on a waiting list to be a mum. Um, fostering children, adopting children. Um, I think we must understand um, that in every Mother's Day, we have to acknowledge that. Um, and I just wanted to acknowledge you. I want to acknowledge every single foster mum and dad, but uh, to all the mothers out there who are fostering. Um, you know, I have a friend who's just about to foster their 28th child, um, a minor unaccompanied who um, is in California, um, came across the border. Look, it's representing 141 countries right now. And I, I feel for those kids who um, who don't have a mum right now, um, those in the foster system who wish they had a mum to say Happy Mother's Day to. Um, and so I, um, I also want to acknowledge um, those who um, have maybe even PTSD from um, an abortion choice as well. Uh, I think it stays like this, that they also need prayer. So from the foster mums to uh, the adopting mums, um, waiting on a list to be so, um, as well as the miscarriaged. Um, I know someone who had nine miscarriages before they conceived the first time. And uh, that's rough too. Um, thank God that heaven is real <laughs> and the Bible's really clear. Um, about what happens to children before they have um, a maturity to know what's right and what's wrong. And um, uh, I am so blessed to be able to have a, um, a platform to, to be the voice, a voice, um, to, to make sure that we acknowledge every single one of you. And I also want to pray for the church. I really feel like a mother mother's day father's day um it could really be the day a day of the year maybe one of two days right father and mother's day where we do talk about the importance of understanding that there are a half a million children in america waiting to be fostered or adopted um and uh, we, we really need to, to do what we can. And so me and my wife, we sponsor 13 or 14 orphans around the world, um, Zambia and Mexico. Um, and we will always have them in our hearts. We'll continue to sponsor them through tertiary education. But um, we, we um, want to help um, mothers know that they're not alone um, and, uh, and that the children who are waiting for a mother that they're not alone as well. So not only will we, you know, be an advocate, um, um, for, 
uh, everyone on that level. Um, but one, one day in the coming future, I don't know when me and my wife have talked about adopting, um, uh, and we, we want to help women as well with unexpected pregnancies and come alongside them as well to, to let them know that, um, you know, the baby inside of them uh, is viable <laughs> uh, no matter what. Uh, and uh, one of the greatest gifts that my wife ever received um, is, is to be a mother. And um, we, we, we know that many children need uh, that love. And so uh, there's also some mothers who just found out they're pregnant. And um, I just want to congratulate you. And um, we want you to know today from me and my wife that um, as we trust in God, um, with that child in you, expected or unexpected, um, to know that God has a special plan for that child as well. Um, so don't give up. Um, And um, I'm really thankful for what's behind us. And I'm very thankful for what's ahead. So God bless you, all the mothers out there. Um, and I just want to say... Um, I want to thank as well all those um, women out there who, when I came to America as uh, as a young man, I'm still young, <laughs> but as a really like a what do they call that whippersnapper, whippersnapper, whippersnipper, whippersnapper. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, um, a lot of uh, a lot of um, women of God, about three or four of them, felt. Um, to always take time to um, impart to me while my own mum and dad were still back in Australia, uh, that motherly heart. And I just want to acknowledge you. You know who you are. I want to say thank you for also, if you will, send me adopting me uh, into um, your family. And I want to acknowledge that. So um, I love you all very, very much. And, um, you know, out there, um, there's a lot of people who, who need that love. And, um, I think it's a good day to celebrate what's to be celebrated. Um, and then be cognizant this week in how we all can be a hand of love for someone else. Um, we're praying for the world. Uh, we're praying for you, whichever part of the world you come from. Um, there's been a lot in my life that I really haven't, uh, told you of seems like I am uh, sporadic on social media, which it, it's true, but there are some, uh, some things that are really coming together that um, are quite exciting. And I do want to indeed, um, can you hear them screaming in the background? It's hilarious. Um, I do want to indeed keep you abreast of, and uh, it's uh, very exciting what's ahead. So um, God bless you. Um, happy Mother's Day. And um, Let's uh, let's help, guys. Let's 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 on Mother's Day think of these children who, um, you know, hundred and fifteen thousand waiting to be adopted, about four hundred and fifty thousand children waiting to be fostered, uh, about twenty thousand minor unaccompanied children just crossed the border since January. Um, it's a craziness that I don't think the world really understands yet, and it's just the beginning. We really need to step it up. I think 99 families to come around the one as a concept where I don't want to try to convince you to be a, an adopting family or a fostering family as much as, you know, how can 99 families come around the one um, and we help them uh, streamline everything where there is a possibility where um, instead of struggling with one or two foster kids, um, we come around them and, and we, we help them double or triple uh, their difference here on earth through the calling and conviction just because 99 families started to believe and sponsor a foster family here in America. Uh, I think that's something we're going to pilot pretty quickly. 
Um, love you all. Anyway, I'm doing really good. Um, we, um, we're going to go enjoy our day. And I just wanted to say God bless you. And uh, any of this that I've said, please take it to prayer. Uh, any of this that you feel like you need to share, please share it. And um, would you pray for me this week? Um, that th There are some very important meetings coming up this week. And uh, I will, I can share some stuff and I can't share most of it. But for now, pray for me. Um, I'm going to go to Oklahoma. I'm going to go to Colorado. And um, some very, very, uh, very, very uh, prominent meetings coming up. So um, God bless you. Have a wonderful, happy Mother's Day. And um, there is this book, if you are a mother and you are looking for um, a book to be uh, encouraged in, there is a book uh, written by Judy Brisky. Judy Brisky. Uh, check it out. It's uh, one of the best books about motherhood. I haven't read it, but I trust those uh, who have told me and told others that it's the best motherhood book, one of the best motherhood books anyway out there. Um, love you. And, uh, and, and, and just a request, pray for uh, my beautiful, amazing mother of my children, uh, my wife. Um, she's absolutely incredible. And um, I just want you to keep on going, guys. Please don't ever give up. And, um, and know that when you know you can't do it on your own, that uh, God.